Hey there, welcome to Epic Men. I'm Jacob and this is my good friend Gary. Hi there. We're looking at James and James has so much to offer and we're talking about words today, which uh, mm -hmm. is a pretty hot topic in our Absolutely. culture these days. So let's look at James 5 verse 12. He mm -hmm. says this, he says, above all, we must be those who never need to verify our speech as truthful by swearing by the heavens or the earth or by any other oath. But instead, we must be so full of integrity that our yes or no is convincing enough and we do not stumble into hypocrisy. So again, James, typically, like he typically does, comes yes. in with a big punch right. about our words. Oh, he sure does. And, and words are so weighty. You know, yeah. sometimes we very casually say things mm -hmm. off the cuff. And then we sure. kind of think, ah, maybe that wasn't the best to say it that way, or right. I should have worded it this or whatever. And unfortunately, even oftentimes, you know, the words hurt somebody yeah. else. Yes, they do. And yeah. then we have to go through a whole routine of dealing with that. But I think, you know, a verse that helps me a lot in conjunction with what James says here is in Proverbs 18, 21. Mm -hmm. And many of you will remember it says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So the consequences of what I say, good or bad, can have a have a benefit or a negative effect yeah. in what is spoken and said. True. So James is trying to caution us, that's what he's offering here, to remember the fact that our words really are important. And sometimes we get pretty casual in how we say things and what we say to people True. and how True. we talk to them. And then later on we're thinking, uh, maybe that wasn't the best, but I'm not going to say anything, you know. They're not going to bring it up. I'm not going to bring it up, so yeah. let's not deal with it. Right. And instead, really being able to come back and say, hey, Jacob, what I said yesterday to you, man, was way off. I'm sorry. I really apologize for that. Right. Could be as simple as that to not let it fester and grow into something worse mm -hmm. in our lives. That's really good. Let alone that if we commit to things that we're going to do or say, I'm going to accomplish this, then you need to follow through with that. Yeah. One yeah. example you could use, I'm sure, <laughs> is even like with our kids. Mm, you know, mm -hmm. okay, we're going to go here, we're going to go over to the park, and we're going to enjoy this or that or whatever. Boy, those kids have an elephant memory. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dad, you said yesterday that we would go get donuts. Exactly. And, well, they remember. Oh, yeah. They don't forget those <laughs> kind of things. And right. so on into life, and even as adults, we need to be people that really guard what we have to say that that's we're going to follow through in our words. That's and really people can trust us yeah. from that standpoint. No, that's so true. I think even how he talks about going into truth, make sure mm -hmm. that your, you know, your yes is yes. And, um, it kind of shows me, you know, how important the truth is really mm -hmm. to us. I mean, even as kids, I remember as a kid saying, Hey, do you swear, you know, on your <laughs> mother's grave or whatever it is. And even as kids, we, we have this propensity that we want the truth, right. whether it, whether yeah. it hurts or not, mm -hmm. I want to know the truth. And, um, you know, as we get older, uh, there's this, uh, you know, underlying thing where, oh, you don't have to tell the full truth or mm -hmm. you can, you can bend right. the truth. Right. And, uh, you know, especially here comes tax season, right? And, and <laughs> oh, you don't have to, you know, give them all the right numbers and, you know, uh, you can kind of make the truth more convenient. And, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, Jesus even talks about the enemy's native language is lies. And so right. that's, that's pretty, uh, serious when we think, am I, Am I incorporating lies into mm -hmm. my life? You right. know, when I'm doing some of those things that just even out of convenience sake, I'm twisting the truth just a little bit. Right. Um, and so uh, I just think the truth, uh, it, it's so par paramount and right. it, it's a reflection of who we are. And like you said earlier, it's, people can trust our words, right? right? If, yeah. if we're people of truth. Yeah, one of the statements he uses in here is that do not stumble into hypocrisy. In other words, mm. don't say you are one thing, but then by your actions or words in another setting, yeah. it's totally different. Yeah. Be consistent. That's great. You know, so true. If you're going to be rotten to the core, be rotten to the core <laughs> all, all the way, okay? But if you're going to live for God and do the right thing and speak the right thing, then be that. Be consistent. Yeah, yeah, you that's know? good. And I know it's simple to say. I realize that. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we need to say it to remind ourselves that that's really my goal and what I want to live out before right. other people. That's so good. Yeah. So you come back to the whole concept, mean which is what you're saying. Yeah. You know, follow through with it. Mm -hmm. Let me also just say, particularly like in your home and with your spouse, if you're married, 
then, you know, be that way with them. Mm -hmm. Be that way with your mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. You know, don't, don't play into the idea or the concept. I've got to make myself look good. Mm, that's a good point. Yeah, because, really good. you know, by our words, we can really mess that up in <laughs> yeah, how really we live quick. out with other people. And instead, we need to be people that when people look at us, say, hey, I can always trust what they have to say. That's so no matter good. what. Yeah. No matter yeah. what. Yeah. And I don't mean that you can't tell a joke and you can't laugh and you can't be funny and those kind of things. But make sure that even in your laughter and your funniness that people know it, it's intended to be funny, not mm -hmm. something serious. That's a great point. Yeah. And just yeah. because sometimes we flippantly say things mm -hmm. that are off the cup and then we wonder, well, why did you react that way? I was only kidding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I didn't understand it to be that way. Mm -hmm. That's and great. so understand who you're talking to. Make sure they understand what you mean by the way you communicate what you have to say. Because people are watching mm -hmm. and they're observing you. And they want to see something real about your life. Yeah, that's so good. I, I love this portion where he talks about we must be so full of integrity. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot about this day and age. We're so particular about our food, right? We want our food to have the highest grade of integrity, right? right. We oh, we yeah. go after the organic, homegrown yeah. by Farmer John, you know, yeah. and and it would you know mixing in hypocrisy. It would be just like me saying, "Hey, Gary, here's this organic, homegrown dinner I made for you." There's a little bit of poison in there somewhere, but don't worry. You know, I think that's no kind of yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Most of it, most of it is organic and homegrown. Right. And I uh, and I, that's what I think that's what hypocrisy does, right? right? It just right. spoils the so whole good. batch. And there's this great quote um, I found from this commentary, and he says the passage warns against hypocrisy. When our words and actions don't align, it erodes trust damages mm -hmm. relationships. By maintaining integrity, we avoid stumbling into the trap of saying one thing and doing a, doing another. And wow. I love that point. It, it erodes trust. Right. And you know, just, it's like, you know, it's that trust is a bridge kind of thing. And mm -hmm. you just, there's only so much erosion a bridge can take before right. it just crumbles it in, into a mess. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. And that's why sometimes in relationships, we start wondering, well, what? What happened? What, what mm -hmm. went wrong here? Yeah. You know, yeah. it may have been over time that that erosion took place. Yeah. And just right. like we've seen here on the West Coast of uh, because of our rains, some areas, you know, dropping off by the ocean, you yes. know, and literally right. just a whole mountainside falling. And all because of the constant the points of erosion. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. relationships can be that way particularly. Mm -hmm. And Good so point. we need to be consistent with who we are. Yeah. And that's what we need to how we need to live out our lives. That's great. So thank you, James. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, James. <laughs> For that reminder of what we need to be and how we need to live it out. So Good. let me pray. Yes. Jesus, thank you that with you we can be integrous. Mm -hmm. We can be people uh, without hypocrisy. That's we right. can mean what we say and follow it up by our actions as well. God, where we failed, we want to come to you, Lord, and ask you your forgiveness. But we also want to ask that you give us the strength and ability to correct where things can be corrected and fix what can be fixed mm -hmm. so that, God, uh, our lives represent you to the fullest and the best that it can be. Yes, Lord. So, Lord, guide us in this for a very valuable asset that we've been giving a blessing of speech but let our speech be truly guided by you in jesus name yes lord. amen 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 hey thanks for joining with us it's been a pleasure to be with you and to share again yeah. hey join us again would you we're almost done with james see it out through the end would you thank you